What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, continual pieces of brand new promotional art for an upcoming Marvel movie are awesome and we're glad we get them, but they're not the same as brand new footage or brand new trailer. And in both of those cases right now, you have fans asking if we're gonna get to see either. We have a live presentation from Walt Disney Studios that will include a Marvel presentation today at CinemaCon and we're all patiently waiting for the second trailer, which has been rumored to drop in the middle of next month around May 15th. Well, today we have updates on both the brand new first look footage that should drop tonight and when the second trailer is dropping. I've got good news and maybe a little bit of bad news, but overwhelmingly good and we're going to break down the updates for not only the second trailer, but the first new look footage that should be dropping tonight at CinemaCon. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and rumor like we're covering today and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner with the finale of X-Men 97. Again, all you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so let's start with the latest update as it pertains to the second trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine which we have heard for quite some time now is expected to come in the middle of May and what I suspected would line up with the finale of X-Men 97. As it turns out today, it's now being reported that the brand new trailer or second trailer for Marvel Studios' Deadpool and Wolverine is actually expected to release online next month, close to the release of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And this is via the source trailer track, which as the name implies, they track trailer news and have been doing so for the better part of a decade. They are a trusted source when it comes to this kind of information. So don't expect the second trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine before about the first week in May. The good news is, is that the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes film actually goes live on May 8th, which means it's gonna go live before that and we have just less than a month. Now we also know that new footage is definitely coming this evening. It was a little bit of a question mark earlier in the week because as I've mentioned and at previous cinema cons, Marvel Studios hasn't always revealed new footage and usually it's only four movies that are coming in this year. Yes, I know Warner Brothers was a little forward looking with their Superman promo and other studios have done so as well. But we now know according to multiple sources indirectly that Marvel Studios does plan on showing new look footage for Deadpool and Wolverine that's tonight at CinemaCon. And the reason we know that is because multiple sources in attendance, like say the editor over at Collider, Steven Weintraub, have been tweeting out things like they're so excited to see new footage of Deadpool and Wolverine this evening, which he may be wrong, but that is definitely a guy that would know better. He wouldn't tweet that out unless he knew that's what was coming, so it's confirmed. Now, how these two pieces of news tie together, and they sort of relate to that little piece of bad news I mentioned during the prologue, it means that whatever they show in the way of new look footage tonight, unfortunately, we're not going to get to see. Yes, there will be secondhand accounts of what was shown, plenty of people in attendance, but unfortunately, CinemaCon makes people power down their phones, and unless someone grabs a quick screenshot like they're not supposed to, and or records some of the footage again they're not supposed to, we're not gonna get to see it. And the reason we know that is that the same sources like Trailer Track that track when new footage from Deadpool and Wolverine are coming, this would definitely be on the radar if Marvel planned on dropping this too. So unfortunately, brand new footage is being shown tonight. It's just very unlikely that any of us are gonna get to see it. We're sadly gonna have to wait till May 8th or thereabouts for the rest of us to see it. Don't worry, we will be breaking down the trailer footage in full. I have some friends who are in attendance at the con, so I'll be hearing from them as well as whatever's posted online. I do wanna mention again, for those of you who are wondering what time to expect those secondhand reports coming out, Disney's presentation starts this afternoon at 2.30 p.m. that's west coast time 5 30 on the east coast and runs for two hours and 15 minutes and as i mentioned in yesterday's video or the day before when i've attended walt disney presentations in the past and expected anything from marvel marvel studios usually goes last and you guys can figure out why so don't expect any of these footage descriptions to be dumping online right at 2 30 p.m west coast 5 30 east coast it's probably gonna to be towards the end of that. I wouldn't start looking for them until about seven o'clock PM. But of course, if you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned here, I'll have a full description and breakdown for you guys as soon as I can get it up. But you let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. And again, I know it really pisses a lot of you off that Marvel Studios will show footage 
in some cases to people behind closed doors and the public doesn't get to see it, but it's only a little bit longer of a wait. And let's be honest, you don't want them showing unfinished footage where the CGI is not quite right and they don't have everything in place. We would rather just wait and see it when it's right. Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel and we're gonna continue to do so until the PlayStation 5 Pro comes out and then we'll switch over. In the meantime, we just announced a brand new winner for the launch of X-Men 97. In fact, he just DM'd me on Instagram, showed me a picture, he just got it this past weekend. We'll have another winner next month to coincide with the finale of X-Men 97. If you wanna be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live in the end of the video with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. If you liked today's video, I'd sincerely appreciate it if you hit the like button and the best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. Please stay safe and vigilant on any YouTube channel where prizes are given away regularly. Years ago, we dealt with a problem that apparently is still rampant on the platform as they've been targeting my friends' channels. That is to say, if you're anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, any platform, and you should get a comment, please try to remember that anybody can take a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator, and the whole ruse is to comment that you've won something and then get you to respond. Never share your information on a third-party app like Telegram or WhatsApp, and please try to remember that no content creator, not myself or anyone else, will ever charge you for the shipping if you win a prize for that channel. That's a dead giveaway that it's a scam. Be safe, be vigilant, and if you should get a comment like that, again, on any platform, report the comment directly to the platform. YouTube is super fast about deleting those comments, and you're really doing everybody at the community a service, not just helping out the content creator, but everywhere that account has commented now disappears. So just think of how many people you're saving going through the same mess. The best way to keep up with the content at the channel has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on, and as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at Amfires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music with the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.